Hey what is going on you guys my name is Steve and I am shooting right back at you with another video today. Now of course we all know that sometimes we get annoyed in this game right? I mean we all have our differences and usually they are only short lasting and they never really get that much out of hand right? Well today is the day that I snapped. I am just done with it right now. Again and again I keep having these noobs finding out where I live and it is just driving me nuts. Now I have already tried training the noobs in order to make them respect me and know a thing or two about the game. Now that did not work at all, because that literally just blew up in my face. But today we are not doing anything like that at all. As you can see I am in a little bit of a pickle right now. And yes this is pretty bad to be honest. There have been an unfortunate series of events that have happened lately that just revolved around me. And to get away from all of that I thought that I might as well just go ahead and run. Well as you can see that did not pan out too well for me. Now we must make sure that everything turns out alright otherwise there will be a lot of things that can go wrong and probably will go wrong like right now nothing special is happening but i am rather sure that this might just be a fallacy and that this will probably end up biting us in the butt since even though it is going to be very peaceful there are a lot of things that can go wrong today now you might be like well you little noob kid you are just a little weenie when you are doing that well that might be so but I am just not going to be taking any chances after what happened to me. And I am pretty sure that you all have seen what happened to me. I mean I have done a couple of horror games and game modes in my day so you know. I think that there is something that you guys can learn from me today. And that is because I do not want any of you to actually get hurt while doing any of this right now alright. But if I have got to be fairly honest right now. I think that we are kind of getting the hang of this battle thing right here. I mean we have done a lot of these before right. But basically all that he was doing was delaying the inevitable, and that was a certain death. I mean there was no going around the fact that Sub-Zero was going to get wrecked, time after time after time. But at least there is one thing that you would be able to take away from this, and that is the fact that whatever happened, Steve did not care about the fact that he got smacked down to the ground and got tossed around. No he did not care about anything like that. He just wanted to make sure that whatever he did, he ended up doing it right. Since he had a lot of stuff going on, and he just wanted that hero Brian to be gone forever. So he did not care about the dying, and he did not care about all of the hurt and the pain that was inflicted to him. And that might be the mentality of a total dumb guy, but it was also something that most people would call to be very heroic. So take it with a grain of salt, or just take it or leave it. I really do not care at all. I mean I am just telling you guys the story. You can do with this information whatever you want in the world. I think that a proper introduction might be in place here right now. So here we go. Hey what is going on you guys my name is Sub-Zero Extabyte and I am shooting right back at you with another video today. So alright as you guys can see we have got ourselves some unexpected visitors today. But I am not mad at that. And the only reason why I am not mad at that is because I am going to be a changed man from now on. I am not just going to cast out all the noobs that come to me for my experienced help and such. No I am going to change them by changing myself and my outlook on said noobs and Harabran because they are both wounded. So so I will be getting some stuff together and I am going to make sure that this noob does not have anything to do with getting my house blown up, by patching them both up in the hospital. And yes by him I mean this little Steve guy right here who pretty much knows less than Jon Snow when it comes to Minecraft. Yes that was a pop culture joke, get with it you all. It has been a weird couple of days with all of that hero Brian whatever that has been happening the other day so I thought to myself like. Well I need some alone time right now. Why does this always happen to me man? I really do not understand it. It is like someone is trying to make me feel bad. So today I am going to be combining these two ideas of mine. One is the hospital part, and two is the house part. And this is not just a house. No this is a house for these wounded of mine and I really think that this should be ending up pretty cool. Also I really want to tell you who the house is for. But I am not sure if I can already say that. Hold on a second I will look at me editor real quick. And he is waving at me saying that it is okay to tell you guys who the house is for. I mean right now I just feel like I am in that one house show. Where they completely revamp someone their house. And they have to yell move the bus or something like that. Alright, so that does not matter. But the house is actually for a noob. 
and a monster kind of I must add. Alright so guys please forgive me right now for what I am doing with this thing here because I literally have no idea what I am doing right now. This is just some on the fly thinking right here because I literally have no idea how to use all of this. So if you have any sort of tips and tricks for me well it will always be welcome of course. But right now I do not really have enough time to go look for some tutorials because I will really need to make sure that no one finds me in this mess. I mean no one will find me right. I told that them to just go away a couple of minutes ago so I hope that he respects that instead of following me or coming back with like a group of guys or something because I usually get intimidated pretty quick and I am like a turtle. I will need a shell so that I can hide in there. And right now I do not have a shell so this is basically my shell right now. I will have to make sure that I can get through this otherwise I will not have my shell for whenever more people show up. And then well that means that it is time to panic for me. But we need to build some things so we can patch them both up. It was like when you make a move in chess and just as you take your finger off the piece, you see the mistake you've made. And there's this panic because you don't know yet the scale of disaster you've left yourself open to. This literally describes what I am doing right now. That was a quote by the way from an author called Kazuo Ishiguro. I probably butchered the pronunciation on that name but that does not matter right now. What matters is that this is a chess game and I am running out of plays to make. And I really do not want this one to end in a loss or a stalemate because I will not be able to handle any one of those. I will be needing a decisive victory right here so that I can finally get some rest. Because well you might have noticed because of the way that I am acting right now but I have not slept since the day that my house got blown up. I mean the time that Harambran was sleeping in my bed, well that does not make it any easier to close your eyes. And I mean I still shut my eyes but all I can see is what my house used to be before it got blown up by that guy. But that is in the past and he needs my help right now. And I really do not like to think about that. I mean I could go on dwelling about whatever has happened but I would rather focus on what is coming up. So basically what is coming up right now for me, well that is this guy that just jumped into a freaking fight a couple of minutes ago. Or actually not a couple of minutes ago. But that does not matter because they are hurt. I really should not be telling you all this much about this project but that is okay. I mean I cannot just go ahead and treat all of this like I know what I am doing because I really do not know what I am doing at all. I mean I am just winging all of this right now because I feel like I otherwise regress and that is not something that I want to do. I really want to put in the ever forward mind set because I feel like moving forward and progressing is the best thing that you can do whenever you feel like you are stagnating and feeling complacent so I really just want to move on right here and get moving so that I can actually finish this and not end up being a complete disappointment right now right here so let's just hope for the best now I am just thinking out loud right now so just bear with me so that we can actually get done with some stuff right here because otherwise we are still going to be building on this thing for the better part of a year or something like that that. But to be honest that is just an educated guess on my end of the spectrum. But let's continue with what I was saying a minute ago. And I was talking about building a hospital for these two. Because this is something that I think is really not handy because the hospital is by far my non-favorite one out of all of the things that you have got around here today. Which is not that good now that I start thinking about it. It is actually smart that I think about this kind of stuff right now before I start doing them in the first place. But still that would be pretty cool. At least that is what I think. I mean no one is going to expect a thing right now. And that is exactly what I want with this right here. So no one will ever be able to go and start stealing some of my ideas again. Now of course, I am just giving this noob help with all of this stuff. It's pretty much the only thing I can do right now. Man I am telling you that I really have zero clue about what is even going on around here. This is just the weirdest type of hospital that I have ever had to deal with right now. Wait is it normal that this guy is just chilling out around here on that pole because he looks rather silent and still to have any suspicions but it is still raising all of my suspicions right now. But I guess that this cave will not explore itself. Oh hey look at that right there. Oh wait I thought this was something that I had to be using to get out of here but I guess that this is not the case. Well that is weird but let's just move on to make sure that the person who usually haunts me to death is not going to be dying in vain. And maybe if I am quick enough I can actually still make sure that we can get out of all of this because maybe the ones who are not yet dead can still be saved from turning. But that of course means that I will have to get out of this place right at this instance. Wait no this is the most vague question ever. 
I mean the most vague answer ever. I am asking if I am dead because all of the unbelievably weird things that I am seeing and you just go ahead and say that this is for me to find out. That is one way to keep me running in circles for just a little longer that by the end of this day I will find out that I am dead because I would have died because I am the most impatient person ever to be around here and like you know forever. What is all of this man I am telling you I could not have chosen a worst way to go and do something like this man. I swore to myself that I would never be going to another hospital ever again as a patient because of the way that they had treated me. And now to make matters even worse I am just here walking around some place that is filled with the dead and I do not even have a clue about what is going on around here. Wait a second what is going on here is this some sort of a murder chamber if I cannot help these two. My god this is going to be so rough but I need to do it. This was actually not the way that I was planning my day. But that aside. I think that I can do a good job here. Wait this is my nightmare? Well that would explain a lot but can someone get me out of here? Okay so there is no escape I mean I can live with that but why am I everyone his child that just sounds a little weird if you ask me. Can you guys not like get your own children instead of kidnapping and haunting the others that do not even want to be around here? But then again I guess that this is the point of having a nightmare right? The fact that it is supposed to be scary. Well you just made it a lot less scary because you just told me that this is just my nightmare and I am sleeping which means that I am going to be waking up anytime soon right about now and then I can just leave all of this behind me and not worry about anything like this ever again in my entire life. But then again something is telling me that that is not about to happen and I am actually going to be stuck in this undead nightmare for the rest of my life or maybe even for eternity which I would not be able to cope with at all. All right now I mean I am not fearless or anything like that after all apparently. I just want them to be safe and for myself to not get haunted by this guy ever again. Now I will be taking both of these guys back home after their troubles today. Well I guess that finding this thing will probably give me some directions. So with just starting the project I guess I could say that I am halfway done already right. I mean it is not like some Lego build. This is some serious thing that I am about to go and find which are their houses by the way and I'm not sure where they live. So forgive me if it takes like an insane amount of time to finally get done because you know, I am learning on the fly with this thing. So maybe you could just help along with me, since I am going to be finding this thing like slow as poop. And that might not help with the interesting part of the video but I mean, at least we can all have a little learning experience by searching something like this. So let's say that we can actually build a spinner that is good enough to make like an insane amount of videos with it. I am looking for this thing on the top of a freaking mountain, so I am not sure if that will actually help me in the looking process but I am going with the fact that it probably will not help me with that. So let's just hope that we do not end up failing or anything. But now that I am actually searching it in this wooded area, I mean we have been here before a long time ago ago. This is actually getting kind of creepy to see right now. Or at least it feels like we have been here before, but then again I am not quite sure about that right now. Maybe that is just something that I dreamed. Or maybe it was another nightmare. Oh my god what if this is just a nightmare? Wait am I even able to record stuff in a nightmare? I am not sure about this to be honest. Let me tell you a bit about one of my big nightmares to ever have again. Do you guys remember one of the last elevator rides we had? Where I pressed a button that sent us off into outer space and stuff. And I was just all like. Let's just hope that no one actually saw the fact that I was the one to push the do not press button and that might have been a mistake on my end but I mean why would you put a button like that in this elevator and then put me in said elevator and then put a sigh over it that says do not push. That is like the sole reason why I push the darn thing and that is because I am a little bit of a wooze sometimes. All I do is keep on running in my own cozy homemade void, my own nostalgic silence. And this is a pretty wonderful thing. No matter what anybody else says, run when you can, walk if you have to, crawl if you must. Just never give up. So I am not going to give up right now. I will just run on right now until the end of days. I am going to be running just like Forrest Gump did way back when. And if you have not seen that movie then I would highly recommend you to go see it because it is awesome. But Forrest Gump never gave up. I mean he literally ran like a ton of miles just because he was trying to get over his ex-girlfriend. And right now I am running away from my own two buddies which I seem to be in right now that must be the weirdest thing to ever even do right. I mean come on this is all just too weird for me oh wait a second did any of you guys even hear that i thought i just heard my mom yelling from downstairs and she has made pancakes 
this is awesome this actually is a nightmare and it is over if that makes any sense into that right now because we actually have got a lot of bigger fish to fry right now.